Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare one password with RoboForm. The first thing I'm going to compare are pricing plans, then I will go with the main features and then also some advantages and disadvantages. Now let's start. Both of these tools are great. They are safe, plenty of people are using them on Android and also like for desktop or notebook. So if you choose RoboForm or if you choose one password, you're not going to make a mistake, but there are some differences. The first in pricing plan. So RoboForm offers you a pricing plan for free. Let me show you when you would go here to personal and you get free account, but you don't have the two factor here, then secure shared folder, emergency web access priority. So web access to you need the everywhere version, not the free version to go further. The next thing is that it offers the free account, but one password doesn't offer free account. So when you go to personal family, you need to like pay annually and you get only 14 day of free trial. Then you need to start paying. So this is the first huge difference, but let's talk about the pricing plans. So if you would go to the everywhere for one year, that's 60, 70 or $24. It's much expensive on one password. For family, when we are going to compare it, it's $33, like $48. Again, it's a little bit expensive also on one password. And team and business, you can see it right here that business is really expensive. Like a quantity about how many people, right? There's like 40, 49. So you can see it right here that it's a little bit expensive. And yeah, so let's go further on the main features. And what do I think about these tools? In my opinion, I'm going to sign into one password to actually show you too. So one password is really simple. The one thing I like is that you can actually use this for, you can actually use this uh, also for browser, you can't actually use RoboForm for browse. What do I mean by that? You need RoboForm right here as a desktop, but there is a problem with it. You need to download the application. There is a problem if you're working in a job and you got like company notebook and you are not allowed to install external softwares to your notebook, you won't be able to use RoboForm. And also another thing is that Logins in RoboForm doesn't work, don't work like in one password. When you're going to click plus here, you create a login by logging it to Facebook and then it will automatically like offers you. So when you come here, I have already Facebook here, but sometimes it's buggy and <laughs> so oh. <laughs> Sometimes the RoboForm is just buggy and I don't really understand. So when I go here, you can edit it, rename it. But still. Yeah, so. I don't know. Okay, but one password, let's talk about this. A one password is a little bit different. Uh, is that you can actually create a password here. Like click here and you can create a login. Website. Username. You just add here. With the password and click save. And in my opinion, one password is much simpler to use. RoboForm is also, but it's like clumsy is the right word. So from the safety perspective, they are both safe. But RoboForm is cheaper, that's for sure. And they offer also free accounts. So what do I recommend for you is definitely check both apps. Test them out if you think about it, what do you think? And yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day and goodbye.